Hi, this is Russ Anderson. Today I'm going to talk a bit about making 3D inserts look a bit more realistic. Now there's a new section in the Synthize manual called uh, Realistic Compositing in 3D. And I'm just going to pick out one particular item from there about softening alpha and show how you can do that using Fusion as an example. And I'm sure you can come up with something similar in whatever package you want to use. So we're going to be looking in detail at this existing setup from another tutorial. So I'm just, I just turned on the high quality button there for Fusion. Let's uh, go look at our insert in some detail now. And you see that there's quite a bit of, you know, crack th this outline around the insert that overall makes it stick out and look artificial. And that's something that, you know, even an untrained observer will, will look at and just say, oh, you know, it looks fake and add it in. You know, and not necessarily even knowing why, but just knowing that it doesn't look realistic. So here's one thing to do about this particular issue. And there are, there are a bunch of other things that are involved too, with noise levels and so on to make things look better. And again, that's discussed in the manual. But what we're going to do here involves working on the output from the rendering node. Here it's been redistorted to match the original distortion. And you can see over in the view over here, this is just the alpha channel that's coming out of that rendering process. So what we're going to do is take this alpha channel that's very harsh and we're going to soften it up a bit. So to do that, we're going to start out by adding a blur node. And instead of actually blurring the image, we're just going to be blurring the alpha channel. I'm just going to turn the blur off for the moment. Now, the problem when you do that, you know, if you look in the other view over here, let's uh, show the blur itself, the blurred alpha channel. You know, if I blur that out, it goes outside the boundary of the image, and that creates a terrible black halo around everything. So that's that's not gonna, gonna get it done at all. So the next thing that we need to do is play around with that alpha channel a bit more. And to do that, I'm gonna use a custom tool in Fusion. Sorry, that's off the edge of the capture window. So we've got that just wired up. Hopefully. Now we need to get it wired up to the main input there of the custom node. And the custom node lets you do all kinds of things. We're going to do something here to work on the alpha channel, of course. So I'm just going to type in this little equation. And if you look at what this does, it, this is the incoming alpha. And if the incoming alpha is a half, it sends the alpha to zero. If the incoming alpha is one, the resulting alpha is going to be one. But if the incoming alpha is less than a half, it's going to send out an alpha of zero. So what that's going to do to our alpha channel is wipe out all of it that's outside of the image, the original part, and keep just the part that's inside. Now to make that happen the rest of the way, we're going to go over to each of the channels, and we're going to multiply by that I1. I'm just copying that onto the clipboard. We'll just go like this. So 
So now we've got that up there and we're going to go and connect that back in. So let's let's take a look at the different parts of this. Over there we've got the output of the custom tool. And you can see if I jack up the blur value, you see that the alpha is, is just kind of shrinking and the edge is staying inside. And if you look in the other image, you see that as I do that, that rim effect is going away. And we just get a softer blend into the background. We can just pop the pass through there and you can see the difference with and without. So this is just a simple way to give a softer blend of your computer generated rendered object into your existing background. So there are doubtless other ways to do this to achieve the similar sort of thing to the alpha, but this gives you an idea of what you're looking to do. Thanks.